Welcome to the video, Getting to Know Document Manager. When you log into your Document Manager end user software, you are going to come across this screen. One of the most important things that I would like you to learn from the start is right here on this Help button, if you click there, here are all your user guides. So if you are stumped and you need some assistance, this is the place to go. Here's for the end user side, here's for the administrative side. So a lot of the information that we're going to cover today will be in your document manager user guide. So here when we're looking at our screen, we're looking at our main tab. The main tab is where we can go and if I click on this explore drawers button, I could see all the various drawers and file folders that we've created and configured for this particular client for a document manager. So if I click again on that main tab, I just wanted to look at some of the other features that we're going to go over today. On the main tab is where you're going to search for information. If you wanted to scan from your desktop, you would do so on this main tab. If you wanted to create some save searches for searches that you do on a daily basis, this is where we do that. And this is where workspaces are also entailed, but we'll go over that in another video. Just wanted to start with the look and feel of Document Manager. It's easy to navigate with the ribbon bar and it's recognizable. We're a Microsoft partner, so it has the look and feel of Windows Explorer. So here when we're looking at the information within the supplier ABC folder, what I like is that you're able to move and manipulate your columns around. So if I like to see the PO number in a different location, you could easily move those columns. You can uh, sort information on a column by clicking the top of the column. So for instance, if I wanted to alphabetize by status, I could do that or if I want to do uh, document description. A lot of times when you first look at Document Manager, your columns are really wide, so I like to make them narrow so I can see more information on my screen. If you look down here to the bottom right part of your screen, you hover over this button that says Toggle Document Preview. I'm very visual, so I like to see thumbnails of the images that I'm looking at. So for instance, this showcase brochure is a multi-page document, so it's easier to navigate through by looking at those thumbnails. Here I can either choose to have the previewer over to the right side of my screen, or if I prefer to have it at the bottom of my screen, if you look at this button down here, it says horizontal split of preview. If I click that, now it is down below on my screen. The benefit of doing it this way versus the other is that I'm not covering any of my values across the top of the screen here, referred to as indexes or metadata. And then if you decide you didn't want to see the previewer go down, click the button down here, and then you could just look at the index values themselves. So let's look at this invoice. And I want to see the type of information that I'm saving with that invoice. So I could either click up here to the Edit Index button, or I could right-click and click Edit Index. I just want to go over again the color coding. The white represents a system field. The yellow represents a required field that is required upon saving information into this folder. And then green fields are optional fields. We configure these uh, upon our initial discovery, so it, it's up to you, the client, to dictate to us how many required fields you want. The benefit of doing that is that it will standardize how information is stored across your organization. I often like doing drop-down boxes because, for instance, here, saving it as a PO, some people might type in purchase orders, some people might type in PO, so to search for all the purchase orders, at least this way, we've standardized how it's going to be put in. So it's easier to find information in the search by doing that. 
Let's go to our main tab again. So now that we've looked at all those index values, we could search across those index values by clicking on Search Documents. So I can search across one value. For instance, I wanted to find a document for supplier ABC. I could pull up all the documents or if I want to specify a particular document type, if I want to see all the emails that I had for that particular supplier, I can click on that. I can even search by a status if I wanted to. So I could really have a quite a robust search here. I could also designate what drawer I want to search within. So do I want to search across any drawer or just a specific drawer? In this case, let me just search across my accounts payable drawer for all the invoices that I have for this supplier. So I select my information and here it's showing me all the information. If you're not certain what folder you're in, you could look at the top of the tab or at the top of the screen up here and it shows you all the information for the folder that you're in. Now if you'll notice, we've designed Document Manager so you could look at it in a tabbed view, which is handy to be able to go through and see all the initial folders and then some of the searches you might be running. If you wanted to clean up your screen a little bit and not have a whole bunch of different tabs, if you look over to the right side of your screen, you could close whichever tab in question. Let's go back to the main button. So we were looking for documents. One of the other types of searches I want to point out is that not only can I search across those index values by names and such, I could search by date. So if I wanted to see all particular documents that were created uh, on a particular day or between various days, then you can run that search as well. Here this box, the content search, is for a full content search, not just on the index values of your information, it's within the body of your documents. So if you wanted full text search turned on, you speak to your administrator to see if you have that functionality, or if you don't, then you could speak to your sales representative about adding on that full content search. One of the settings that I usually like to engage is setting up a default way that my search is set. So here I'm going to go to the File button and go into User Settings. I always like to set my default search criteria to contains. So that way I don't have to type in the full last name for somebody. I could type in the first three letters and it will pull up the search results for everything that contains those values. Because by default your document manager will, will most likely be set at equal. So here just go there, toggle down, select contains. Some of the other items that I like to check, but these are per your personal preference. I like to click this, uh, the latest version of a document. So say for instance you were doing version control where you had version 1.1, 1.2, .1, and 2.0 of a document. Instead of seeing all those versions showing on your screen, you could just opt to show the most current version. Nevertheless, those previous versions are still stored in Document Manager. But it just makes your screen a little bit cleaner from what I find. I like uh, this allow full row selection of your documents. Instead of just having to click over on the left side of my screen, I could click anywhere and it will click the correct document. I like to see my documents in our viewer first rather than rendering them always in their native applications. If you wanted to do that, then you might want to click that button there as well. Let's click on the next tab 
looking at drawers. If you wanted to see all the drawers and you have created a document manager, you could just click that button up there. But I don't like to see some of these drawers on my screen. I, I just have so many, it just gets confusing at times. So if you wanted to pick and choose, you could just go in and select or deselect whichever drawers you want to see. Integration is something that we could talk about later, but just quickly, this would be uh, for a screen scrape that we would create between your line of business software, such as maybe your human resource software or your accounting software, so that when you're on a particular screen there, in this case, I could assign it to the F5 button on my keyboard, and it, it would engage a search. So it's nice it integrates your line of business software with Document Manager to pull up supporting information. Say, for instance, I wanted to pull up a supporting invoice from my accounts payable software from the screen that I'm looking at. I could just hit my F5 key and it will pull up the scan of that invoice in question. I'm not going to go through all of these, but I will go to the checkout tab. What I like to do is create a checkout folder. So you can create a folder on your C drive or on a network drive so that when you're doing version control and checking in and checking out documents, instead of having to designate where you want it to go, you could just already pre-select the path so it will automatically check in and check out to that particular document. You can tell it to also automatically open the document upon checkout. So it's just good to know, again, we were looking at file user settings to look at all those various settings. Also, while we're here, if you look on the right part of the screen, I could also see the recent folders that I have been in. So it's easy to kind of a quickly navigate through to find a, a folder here or via our main tab. I can either search for a folder or search for documents. So here is searching for a folder. If I wanted the folder for Time Inc. Here I toggled over my value to be equal to, but I want to say contain so I don't have to type in the exact Time Inc. I could just run that search. So you're going to find there are searches that you're doing within a daily basis. Here's where I like to go into our save searches, create some save searches. So for instance, I, in HR, I might always be searching by somebody's last name. So here I can set up a prompt box so I could just type in the last name and it will pull up that employee's folder. Going back to the main tab, and I'm clicking the bottom half of that Save Search button to see all the various save searches that I have. But if I click on the top part of that button, I can assign shortcut keys. So if you see over here, if I wanted to run that search without having to click on Save Searches, I could have just hit the my F10 button on my keyboard, and it would run that search. So here, if I want to change that to assign it to a different key, I would go down below and I could say I want it to be Control F2, so whatever your preference is. While we're looking here, let's look at the various options that we have. I can create the search so that upon login I have it run a particular search, so maybe I'm in accounting, I want to at login, see all my invoices that are waiting approval. Maybe I might want to run that periodically every so many hours. You can assign all of that here. Some organizations create searches that are available to all users. If you did have those, those would be here. So if you decided you wanted to use one of those searches, you can add those to your frequent searches. But I don't have any to pull over that would add them here into my frequent searches. So let's create a save search. So 
I want to do a folder search in my HR drawer. I want to do a prompt to search by employee number. Because I want it right now to be a, a blank search so it will pull up a prompt box, I'm going to type in percent prompt. Now, if you cannot remember this, which I never did, I always refer to my user guide to remember how to set up these saved searches. Let me just click over to the user guide for a second, just so you can see what's really handy about our user guide. They do screenshots, so it walks you through step by step how to engage pretty much any activity. So here's my percent prompt we we're looking at for the save search. So it's a really terrific tool. Okay, so back to human resources, searching by employee number. I'm going to do percent prompt. Now I'm going to click OK. And as you can see, it's pulling up a blank prompt box for me. So instead of typing in anything there, I'm just going to go OK. So it's just a generic search across the employee number. Now I want to go ahead and save that search. Click Save. I don't like looking at the entirety of this whole long chain, so I usually type in something shorter that resonates more with me. So click on OK to save that search. So now when I go to the main tab, I look at the bottom half of my save searches, there's that employee number. If I click the top part of that button, that's where I could go in and assign a shortcut key. Say I want to assign that to Control F1. Could easily do that there. So now I could just hit, for instance, I'm going to hit my F10 key, and there's that save search for last name for my HR drawer. So let me just type in first few letters, and then you could easily pull up that search. Again, if I wanted to see thumbnail images of these documents, hit that button on the bottom right part of my screen, and then as I click on the documents, it will show you a preview of them. So that's it for video one of our introductory sessions, Getting to Know Document Manager. If you have any questions or concerns on your screen, you'll see our support and sales numbers, so feel free to call or email us with whatever questions that you may have. Have a great day. Thank you.